Nightline. We're going to have a wonderful time. We have some excellent guests. Yeah. Um, I want to mention to you quickly, Charlotte Dively is here. She's the author of Enigma, God's Voice in Prophetic Art, and also Eddie Anders is here. Yeah. We're going to have a great time in music. He's also going to be sharing some testimony. Uh, he's, uh, he's an author. He's a singer-songwriter for those of you who don't know, but we're here in the presence of the Lord yeah. tonight. Amen. And Rhonda and I are just always thrilled to be able to come to be on a Nightline program with you. And it's, uh, it's always awesome to hear your responses in the community. We appreciate you, uh, you telling us how much you appreciate this station yes. and what they're doing. Um, we want to encourage our, our Nightline prayer partners are right there right now. They want to hear from you. They want to, to pray for you, pray over your circumstance. And if you don't know the Lord, then they can, they can take you all the way to that experience uh, as they can, they can lead you to Jesus. Yes. Um, we want to read the scripture. It's found in Luke chapter 8, verse 10. And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Uh, Rhonda, you and I were talking about the scripture. This is one of those that probably would mess with the mind for, for so many yes. people. But, you know, I'm glad that we have inside information. Yes. And uh, we've, been, we've been clued in. We've been given a light that causes us to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. And if you know the Lord Jesus, you know what I'm talking about. It's an experience that nobody can understand except you receive it. So I just want to encourage you tonight, uh, give the Lord an opportunity to move into your life, into your circumstances, whatever your needs are, whatever your problems are, whether it's physical, uh, whether it's spiritual, the Lord wants to step in and he wants to do some powerful things. Amen. Yes, he does. Uh, I'm looking forward tonight to this program. You're going to see some beautiful things, some beautiful artwork is going to be, uh, you're going to see it here on the set. And, uh, we're just she has gonna, a book, too. Uh, she, she has a book, all right. Yeah. Enigma, God's Voice and Prophetic Art. Yes. It's going to be interesting. Right now, we're excited to tell you Eddie Anders is singing something good. Make him welcome. I just feel like something good is about to happen. I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that it opened all of heaven. Brother, it could happen any day. I have never been more thrilled about tomorrow. The sun shines always bursting through the skies of gray. I just feel like something good's about to happen. Brother, it could be this very day. Well, I've noticed all the bad news in the paper. And it seems that things get bleaker every day. The law this child of God, it makes no difference. I know it's bound to get better either way. But he has promised what I know it can hard to fathom. All the things we have in store for those who pray. I just feel like something good's about to happen. Brother, this could be that very day. Like something good to find happen. Oh, I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that it opened all of heaven. And my brother, it could happen every day. I have never been more thrilled about tomorrow. So I'm trying to always Something good's about to happen Brother, this could be Sister, this could be Brother, this might be the very day All right. Thank you so much for that, man. That's, that's awesome. Powerful. Yes. Amen. Yes. Well, we're, we're glad to be here in this studio tonight to bring you the message of Jesus 
and there's there's always something powerful that's going on around here. There's there's always some positive and excellent. I, I love the slogan here: something clean in the air. So aren't you glad that you can turn over here to TV 16, and and you can celebrate the goodness of the Lord? Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you again: get the phone and call in. And, and tell somebody that prayer request because we're going to be praying somewhere along the way. And, and I believe the Lord is a hearing uh, God. He's going to hear. Tonight. Well, our first guest is, is a pers- very, very interesting uh, lady here. She has written a book that uh, is excellent, Enigma, God's Voice, and Prophetic Art. What you're about to see is, uh, is, is going to be very, very, uh, might be mind-blowing for some folk. But she's about to tell us something that is excellent because the Lord uses her in an unusual way. Would you make her welcome? Uh, Miss Charlotte Dibley is here. All right. Thank you. It's, good it's, it's good to see you here. Awesome. Glad um, to be here. I, you, I, want you, I want you to tell me what, what is going on? What, what is this thing, <laughs> Enigma? What is this prophetic art? Tell us about it. Prophetic art is... Um, it's, it's actually drawing your pain, uh, dreams and visions or your supernatural experiences. And uh, sometimes there's hidden images in there that God is giving a story or something, a message to you that you don't realize until you stop and look at it later. And you think, oh, my goodness, there's, there's more to this than what I thought. Wow. Yeah. Have you always been a painter, been an artist? Always been an uh, artist since I was a child. Really? Yeah, and I started painting. I remember the first time I really painted something was with oil was back in, um, I think I was in junior high. And, but I always drew and made things, and oh, there was always a table that had stuff on it, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. I've got several of those. <laughs> yeah, you got, give me a table, and I'll fill it up. <laughs> you know, i got to watch it. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, uh, and I started painting um, uh, prophetic art in um, 2006. I didn't even know that it existed before then. Yeah, I um, I had always dreamed and had visions and that sort of thing, but I never thought to draw it or paint it, which is so unusual to me. I'm thinking, why didn't I ever think about doing that, you know? But I had gone to a Kathy Walters conference, and there were some ladies sitting around, and they were painting, and I thought, well, this is really cool. And so I went up to them, and I asked them, I said, I said well, what are you doing? And they said, well, we were just painting our dreams and visions. I said... I could do that, <laughs> and by golly, I did. <laughs> Been doing it ever since. <laughs> oh, what a creative way to, to do this, and yes. you are incredibly talented. Thank I, you. I've just been looking around. I've always loved art as a as a young person. I I just I love to draw and awesome. and I, I remember doing some. I never oil oil is is to me was very difficult. Well, this is this yeah. is acrylics. This Acrylic, is yes. Simpler. Yeah. So yeah. we we did some watercolor. You know, you can. Yeah. It's a little more forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, watercolor can be hard. <laughs> but, it can uh, be hard. But but I love I love what you're doing here. This Thank is you. and you are incredibly talented. Thank you. But but I was thinking about something. You said you know we are we are people who are very visual. Yes. You know, and so for you to take something that is in your spirit, yeah. that the Lord is speaking to you, and be able to put it where somebody can literally see it, that's yes. powerful. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That, that's awesome. That, yeah. There's an anointing in that, yes. isn't there? Yes, and you can do it too. I mean, you don't have to be a great artist to do mm-hmm. prophetic art. The whole thing is just to write down and draw what, your, what you sense is the things that you see, you hear, you feel, you smell, mm-hmm. you taste, and then that sixth sense, that thing that you just know because you know. Yes, yeah, okay? absolutely. And then you can do that. I mean, anybody can do that. You make sketches, and then if, even if it's a little stick figure, you put down what it is that you saw, mm-hmm. and then when you go back and you look at it later, you say, oh, and I remember what the Lord was saying on that. Wow. And then you ask the Lord, what are you trying to say to me? Yes. And then he begins to open up. Uh, things for you to th- look at. Maybe he might have you look at a scripture or like the enigma. It might be a word that he gives you. Mm-hmm. And uh, then you look into what the word means and then, oh my goodness. Wow. Whole so, begins. So isn't that something Tell that... us what that word means. Well, um, enigma is actually, uh, it came from this painting over here with the, with the crown. Uh, I had painted that and um, uh, it was sitting in my living room, and my neighbors came, and they saw it, and they said, oh, my one neighbor, Janice, she said, oh, she says, 
you got to get rid of that painting. I said, why? Why? She goes, oh, there's a demon in there. <laughs> I said, no way. But sure enough, if you can see it over in the corner, it's kind of hard to see. Um, uh, can you point to it? There it is, right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, uh, and I said, oh, my goodness. I said, yeah, it does look kind of wicked, you know. And so I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do? And, and she says, wait, 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 wait. She says, there's, I see Jesus underneath the crown. Yeah. And it, by golly, if you look at it, it's like you can see Jesus looking in like four different directions under that, wow. underneath the crown. And so I said, okay, Lord, what am I supposed to do with this painting? <laughs> you know, so I prayed about it, went to bed. And the next morning I woke up and I heard this word enigma, you know, as I was waking up in my spirit. Okay. And I asked my husband, who is a good Navy man, I said, okay, what is, is that a word? He goes, oh, yeah. He said, that's the secret decoding device that they had in World War III yes. that helped wow. them to win yeah. the war. Wow. And so I said, okay, God, so what does that that's have great. to do with prophetic art, you know? <laughs> and he said, this is so cool. He said, in my spirit, he said to me, he said, uh, my prophetic art is my secret decoding device. It crosses over language barriers, cultural lines, denominational differences, language differences, I said that, yes. even Israel, and the children will lead them. And so I thought, okay, all right. And that's literally what's happened is it's become like a, um, a way to speak to people even when they don't speak in your own language. Yes. You know, they can look at that, and you can look at this painting. It'll say something completely different than what it would say to you, mm -hmm. you know. And, but it keeps on uh, progressively speaking to people whenever they look at it. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, thank uh, you. Piquing the interest of, of people who would otherwise just, you know, ho-hum in a blasé fashion, just walk away. But, I mean, I, I know we've, we've probably got people tonight who have tuned in and they looked and said, what is that, a spaceship? You know, you know, I'm sure you get different reactions. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and then what happened this year, this one here, um, the Lord was saying when I was uh, praying every year about this time, about between August and October, November, I'm asking the Lord, okay, what do you want me to do for the coming year? Because around that time is when Rosh Hashanah is, the, the Jewish New Year. Mm -hmm. And invariably, before I even knew, the Lord was giving me dreams and visions about that time that would be something for the coming so, year. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Oh, when well, you don't have a clue. <laughs> and, you know? and you don't even know yet. Don't even know. <laughs> well, he was, I was praying about this, that the 5777 this year, which is uh, 2017. Um, and uh, he said, I want you to complete this painting because uh, now the book, okay, is uh, Enigma. Okay, it was, uh, I'm trying to think, put, putting this all together. Uh, it was finished in 2015, all right, and, and I, didn't, I didn't plan to have the 21 secret decoding devices, but that's what we ended up doing was having 21 secret decoding devices in the book, and it, each one of those devices tells different ways that God speaks to you through your art. And, mm -hmm. it, you know, it might be colors, it might be words, might be looking things up in the dictionary, and I didn't plan on having 21. You know, but right. uh, but there what that's where it ended up, and and I'm thinking even today. Today is the November seventh, right? In, in 2017, all mm. these sevens. He's always using all these mm -hmm. sevens. You know, <laughs> yes. The, uh, um, well, uh, with the uh, so with this one, he was saying, I want you to finish that, and um, and what it is is the the diamonds were coming out of the top of the crown. And they bubbled up and over, and they created a portal down through the darkness and then surrounded the earth. See, this is the earth that's down at the bottom mm -hmm. there. Yes. And I don't have all the diamonds painted in there yet. It's kind of, it takes a long time to do all that. Sure. <laughs> so this is kind of an in process. And I, and I painted in uh, where you can see the hidden images, the, the Father God on the right, and then the, one, one of the faces of Jesus underneath the crown. And, and then the diamonds coming around and surrounding in the earth. And it was like the Lord was, he said to me, it was like the Lord, uh, the Father God reached out his hand and handed Jesus the earth. And he said, now go get your bride. Wow. So it's like we are each of those diamonds reflecting the light of the Lord off of one another. And uh, the Jesus light comes off of us and goes into those in their circle of influence. You have a circle of influence. You have a circle True. of influence. Absolutely. And as you reflect uh, the light of Jesus, 
uh, it reflects on the, them, and then it reflects on their circle of influence. So it bubbles up, and that's what creates all the diamonds. Wow. That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to tell you, I remember my first experience with art like this. Yeah. Uh, Bill Gothard. Oh my goodness. And yes. it was absolutely remarkable. Yeah. But, and he would do the chalk drawings chalk. as oh, he would Oh, yes. Yes. And it was just, it's I remember that. I mean, yeah. it would just be a streak and, here so, well, and a streak well, there. He, he yeah. starts yeah. out and he's just, I, I realize now what he's doing, he's actually was drawing an altar and he's talking about Abraham huh. and how he was to offer Isaac yes. as, mm -hmm. a, as a sacrificial offering. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then... But then, of course, the angel says, stop. Mm -hmm. And the lamb is there. The ram is there, excuse mm -hmm. me. And, and then, you know, Jehovah Jireh is his name. The Lord provides. Yeah. And, and that, that was a, a powerful thing. But, but he carries it on. And all of a sudden, out of that altar is a cross. Yes. And there's Jesus on the cross. And I'm, I'm, I'm so taken back. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was such a climactic thing. Yes. So, so this is powerful. Yeah. Yes. It, it's, it's an awesome thing. To me, it, 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 uh, it, it sets things into our memory mm -hmm. that yes. otherwise, you know, th this is awesome. I, I yeah. love what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I remember seeing Bill Gothard. Mm -hmm. I remember being up in the balcony looking down and seeing this great big thing that he was drawing mm -hmm. and I was so I was so in awe about it then. Yes. but it never crossed my mind at that point I mean that was years ago that was years oh, yeah long yeah. Long yeah. Long yeah. yeah but yeah. I remember it being so powerful and they ha he had he used the chalk or the, the the paint I don't know that was fluorescent and they would shine the light on it yes and it would show something completely <laughs> different like the cross would show up in the altar or whatever you know I remember that that was really good yeah. very cool it was prophetic art yeah we didn't know what, what we it was. We didn't know it, huh? Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's amazing. You know, um, we, we really, I, I think we cheat ourselves sometimes when we want to put God in a little sphere, in yeah. a little box. And in other words, we might say, well, you know, God, uh, I, I like, I'll take this song, this form, this, you know, yeah. we have a tendency sometimes to, to want to rule out certain things as, yeah. as Christian folk, you know. Yeah. And, um, but, but, but God has, oh, we can't even imagine the facets of God that are oh, there yeah. Yeah. and, and the, his capabilities to yes. bring us in yes. <laughs> yes. And, yes. and the things he can yes. use like yes. you, the yes. things he will use and yes. the people he will use. Yes. It's awesome. And, and anybody can do this. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do this. That's my quest is to teach people that they can, through their dreams and visions, as they sketch them, draw them, paint them, whatever, God can speak them. They can begin to hear the voice of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they can begin to understand and recognize when he's talking to them. Wow. Now, do you, uh, when you're painting, do you purposely put these images in there? Or they just start forming as you're painting? Uh, well, it depends on what I see. You know, I just draw what I see, you know, oh, okay. within my dream or my vision, you know. Okay. Sometimes um, uh, things as you put stuff together, like if you have a dream, it's got lots of pieces and parts. Yeah. You know, putting it all into one, instead of making a video of it, which I would love to be able to do, uh -huh. you, you pull the pieces and parts together and you create an image, one image okay. uh, of it. Wow. Uh, you know, awesome. the one I did not bring, it was, uh, it was called the Clarion Call. And I thought, the hotel we're staying at is the Clarion. I thought that was so oh, cool. Wow. And this, uh, this vision is the, that I did, that I painted, was, it's called the Clarion Call. And has all of these pieces and parts in it, lots of pieces and parts. And it all speaks to the whole, uh, mm. the whole message is, you know, we're coming together to um, declare what God's calling us to do. Mm -hmm. We're making a clarion call with this uh, sh shofar that was out in the middle, that we make a clarion call with what we're doing as we step into it, you know, as yeah. you're doing this in interviewing here, and as I paint, and as I teach, you know, we're making that clarion call that God's... Tremendous. Wow, yeah. that's so, incredible. I, I was thinking, you know, it's like, when I, when I put together a, a sermon, I, I'm listening, and I'm catching those yes. clues. Yes. And a lot of times, I don't know what's going on. Yep. I'm just, I'm just putting down one line and doing yes. the other, and then, Comes and together. then God begins to build that thing, oh, yeah. like a song, writing a song. Absolutely. Right now, we're going to Eddie Anders. Fill me up.
Oh Jesus, I am thirsty, I am learning how to hunger for more of you. You are the water and you offer the life that is making me new. Your love is more than enough. Come and fill me, fill me. Up. Oh, Jesus, I need mercy, I need cleansing. From the burden of so many sins, you are the water, and I offer my life into your hands. Spirit, come, fill up my lungs with air, and my voice with prayer, and my mouth with praise. Fill up my heart with song, for oh, this journey is long, and I need your strength. Jesus, your love is more than enough. Come and fill me, won't you fill me? Amen to that. We're talking to Charlotte Dively tonight. She's written a book called Enigma. It's God's voice in prophetic art. And, and this is very interesting. I, I want to ask you a, a question. Um, I, I want to make a statement first. If you, if you read the scripture, Old Testament, a lot of symbolism. When you go to, to Revelation, you'll see all kinds of things. And I, I, could, I could imagine... In the Old Testament, when, when the prophet saw a horseless chariot, he wasn't really sure what he saw. Yeah. 
<laughs> when he saw that device flying through the sky, yeah, yeah. he really didn't know what yeah. he was seeing. Mm -hmm. um, so, was flying. <laughs> yes. yeah. so wh why, why do you think God uses symbols to speak to his people? I think it's just like when um, they had the, the parables. Jesus used the very thing that they were familiar with. Mm. And so yes. it was something to help them to be able to relate. Uh, yes. You know. Absolutely. Uh, when you, uh, that one about the 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 um, the things flying, the uh, um, it was like the 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 what was it? The little bugs that was flying. Uh, I was thinking that I'm thinking that he was probably seeing helicopters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, so many descriptions. Yeah. They didn't really even know how to describe right. it. And if if they were good artists, then we could see those pictures. <laughs> Being yeah. like that, what they got. Yeah. Why didn't they start drawing yes. back then? It's going, well, why didn't I start drawing more <laughs> earlier, you know? Well, they didn't think about it, you know? Because right. Probably that be in awesome? the cave. Cave <laughs> wall. It's on the cave wall somewhere, yeah. <laughs> you think, man, can you imagine if some of the stuff from Revelation had been drawn? Oh, wow. oh my. Oh, it'd Completely be so fascinating. cool. fascinating. You know, that's why we have so many imaginations of people, you know, mm -hmm. creating things that, that look in different ways, you know, than, than what... Uh, you know, what we might, when we see a, a vision, when I see a vision, it might be completely different than when you see a vision. Mm -hmm. We might yes. be seeing the same thing. But That's the right. Lord brings out what's in your heart and what's going on in your life, like what's yes. in your backpack. He <laughs> helps you to yes. bring that out and point that yes. out from from what he, what's being seen there. Isn't that beautiful? So many different perspectives, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking to somebody today. I I have a tendency to to listen to some people's I don't mean to be narrow-minded, but I hear that some person's perspective, and I'm going sometime, how did you come up with that? <laughs> and, but, but God has given to all of us that liberty. Yes. And, and you're right. I, we, we're all creative in our own way. Yeah. And it's, but it's a message. It's a, it's a prophetic yes. word, or it can be, no matter how, what it is yeah. or how it, how it comes to us. God knows what's in your heart. Yes. Yeah. He knows exactly what you need to hear, what you need to see to be able to get his mm -hmm. uh, message across to you. Mm. Yes. I, I love it. Yeah. That's powerful. To, to me, this is like, this is an, a wonderful illustrated message. Yeah. yeah. A oh, sermon yeah. that we can Ooh. see. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Isn't, that, isn't that what we need? Yeah. Uh, I was, I'm a children's minister for 35 years, and so I use lots of illustrated things, yes. you know. And I never, you know, I mean, I was always making pictures and making puppets and things like that, you know, to yeah. use to make an example for things. And that's the way I taught, mm -hmm. you know. So it's, it was actually a good transition to be able to yeah. come in to do prophetic art. Well, ha do you teach? I do. Do you teach all ages? Yes, I teach okay, all ages. That's awesome. I used to teach, uh, when I was children's church, I, it was like grade school age, you know, yeah. 5 to 12. Uh, but now, I mean, with the with, uh, prophetic art, it's whatever age. Usually the best age is like 6 or 7 and older, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I teach at Michael's also, uh, and I teach just fine arts, oh, you know, how to paint. That's amazing. Yeah, and I had just finished my book, and I was in the store, and I was looking for a portfolio to put all these things that they'd cut, I'd cut out because I'd cut all my, my sketchbooks up and, and had all these loose pieces in order to put them in the book. There's like 300 illustrations in the and book. And you did all of these? Yeah, I did wow. all of them. I was oh, just looking right. here. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm amazed. Yeah, thank They're you. They're beautiful. Yes. Yeah, thank you. you. You're a person of color, aren't you? Yes, I am. I was, <laughs> I was noticing your fingernails. Oh, yes. and your, the whole deal. You know, color is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Color is a powerful thing. It really <laughs> is. Yes. Um, it speaks. Now, yes, it does. Messages. The, the prophet mm -hmm. described God as he, he saw what he, was an, like an image of the throne. No man has seen God, but he's, he described multiple colors. Yes, and, the and emeralds there's power. around. You, you think about it, and I just preached not long ago on, on the rainbow. Wow, that yes. is so incredible. Yes. Yes. So God God is a God of color. Oh, yes. 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 Mean, yes. All, all colors mean different things. Yes, yeah, sure. You know, uh, the um, blue is uh, like revelation. Mm. And I had, a, when I went to Israel, had a lady tell me, she said, she's liking my hair. And she said, she yeah. says, I think that means that you're, you're bringing heaven to earth. And I thought, okay, I receive that. Yeah. That's a good one. Good. And that's what prophetic art does. Yeah. It helps to connect heaven and earth, helps you to unlock the secrets of heaven. Yes. You know, so, yes. you know, I receive that. That's good. <laughs> well, you, um, when you were in Israel. Yes. Tell me a couple of stories or a story about about your paintings and okay. how it 
come out with, in Israel. Okay, one, one of the things was, is the Lord said to take one of these pictures right here, the uh, Enigma painting. He said, take that and give them to some of them in Israel. So uh, he had four he wanted me to give uh, to people to mm -hmm. uh, introduce them to prophetic art. And that was a, 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 it was a, it was a mess. <laughs> 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 Getting them through customs, it's like I put this big price on it, you know, so that it yeah. could, uh, I would, you know, if anything happened, I'd have some money come back. Oh, yeah. That was wrong. Need $10. You know, oh, <laughs> because really? they ended up making me have to pay like four hundred dollars. Oh yeah. wow! Uh, yeah, customs. It was oh, crazy. That's terrible. It was crazy. Oh, but anyway, it was a blessing, and I gave them. Yes. So they're there, and hopefully they will uh, uh, speak to people who are there. Mm -hmm. And I want to go back and teach people there about mm -hmm. how to do prophetic art. Yes, that's wouldn't tremendous. that be cool? That and take some cool. people with us that can do prophetic art with them and prophesy to them. Mm -hmm. But this is the other one. Was I was drawing this one. Uh, this is in. Um, we were looking across, this is a valley that, that, that it looks like it's level, but in, in the actual place, it was, a, um, it was a valley. And you could see Israel across, I mean Jerusalem across the way. And uh, this gentleman had told a story about how he had been there and he blew the shofar for the first time. And um, uh, he said that he saw two horses run across the valley at right when he blew the shofar. And there were some people doing a picnic down there and they yell, yay, praise the Lord. And they were jumping up and down and all. Awesome. And, uh, and so I said, okay, so tell me about the colors of the, of the horses. And he remembered that one of them was a dappled, uh, was like a uh, Appaloosa dappled like horse. Mm -hmm. and, and he couldn't remember the other one. I said, okay, Lord, what color do you want me to do that other horse? And so I said, okay, oh, so I did a white one. I thought, oh, okay, we'll do white. And uh, so I drew that. And as I was leaving, we, we were there for a couple hours just worshiping. And I was able to uh, wow. draw this while we were worshiping. It was really awesome. And they have like a, a house of prayer all over there in Israel. Tremendous. And that's where we were. And as I was getting ready to leave, this lady came up to me and she said, <clears throat> She says, I live here not far from the valley. And she says, there is a white horse that runs across the valley. Oh He's a wild white horse that runs across there. Oh, that's oh, Isn't that so that's cool? That's awesome. completely amazing. Though. I mean, and I had no idea. Yeah. So it's like the Lord. And then he reminded me, whenever I did this one, he reminded me of the four winds of the Spirit. And that's of this one over here, uh, this on your, to your side. Um, years ago, I guess it was maybe... Maybe 2007, I think. Uh, he gave this isn't the uh, one that he gave me. I did this one just recently, but um, he, he reminded me of a vision that the Lord gave me when He showed me the four horses, and they're actually the four winds of the spirit. I didn't know anything about the four winds of the spirit at the time, but I said, "Okay, what's what is a horse, Lord? I don't understand this, you know." And yeah. it was like, "Oh my goodness!" When I looked it up, and it, it, it says. It's the four winds of the spirit. And the Lord said, your art is going to take you to the four corners of the earth. Oh, wow. Or the art is going That's to go awesome. to the four corners of the earth yeah. to this, speak. I love this too. Your, Thank you. I, the way you did these horses are excellent. Thank I, you. I like this. I love it. Thank you. It's Thank beautiful you. Job. Thank you. Fun, fun. So, so people have you come yep. to their worship services yep. and you do the art. And do you, do you teach while you're... I can, yeah, yes. I um, I can uh, uh, draw or paint during uh, during worship. But if I teach a class, um, I I will teach you about how to do the prophetic art, and then have you do vision sketches, and okay. that's just a little drawing, oh. and then you go from there, and then you can paint it. So so if somebody's like teaching or preaching in a service, yes, you will do a, a drawing. Is that I what can you, paint painting? during the worship service? That is, yeah, that is completely yeah. awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what I'm go actually I'm going to be doing uh, the first uh, class um, with worship and painting, um, live worship, uh, this on the 12th of this oh month. My. And um, where will you be doing that? They're going to do that at Father's House in Lawrenceville. In Father's Georgia. House. Uh -huh. That's in Georgia. Georgia. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, Father's House in uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Okay. And there's my horses. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Look at this. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> there's the information on the screen there. That is awesome. Somebody, some. I'm sure somebody's going to want to hook up with this. And 
and, I hope and they go. Do. This this is this is excellent. I, I think yeah, it's and it's uh, it's, it's um, where it's just offering where you can come because I want everybody to come. Right. But yeah, if if you could let me know you're coming, it would be a help. Yes. But uh, you can bring your own art supplies and use mm -hmm. them if you want. But if you don't have art supplies, I will have them there. And for like twenty dollars, you can have a canvas and paint, mm -hmm. and then use my brushes and wow. paper towels and all that. Stuff. That's tremendous. So, yeah. Now all around us, there's all kinds of pictures. <laughs> uh, you've got some things. Uh, some other things that are here. What What is this right there beside you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this one. Okay, this was um, a vision that I had during worship. Right after I finished the book, um, uh, Spock died. You know who Spock is? Yes. Okay. Oh, he just said, yes. uh, live long and prosper. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Leonard Nimoy. Well, yes, Leonard Nimoy. Right. Yes. yes, it was the 28th of February. I had just gotten my first book uh, out from Zulon Press on the 7th. Of, of that month. It was a lot of these sevens, you know, the Lord's got all these sevens. Uh, and, um, and I was in worship then, uh, well, anyway, his, his, uh, his story was that he was a Jewish boy, okay, and he said that this symbol is actually a, a Jewish symbol. Number, number six. No, the, the no. It, it isn't? Okay. No, it's a 21. Okay. It's okay. the shin, and that's what this is. Okay. This is the okay. shin. Is the, uh, it's the flaming crown. Okay. And uh, he said that what happened was, is he was a, a little boy, and he went into uh, the worship service, or synagogue, whatever you call it. Uh, right. And he was with his dad and his brothers and whatever, and all the women were in another part. And he said, uh, he said, okay, now, son, cover your eyes. Don't look. You know, and he said, of course I looked. <laughs> <laughs> and the priests, what they did is, I, I'll show you what they did. They, they did like this. Right. He said yep, they pulled they the tallit over their head, yes. or they over their eyes, and right. they did like this, and they were chanting some type of a song or whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, it's they a must blessing, have been yeah. must have been praying in tongues. I'm thinking. But yep. then they also had a blessing that they spoke, right, right. and it was called the priestly blessing. Yes. So this shin is also called the priestly blessing. <laughs> and so I thought, oh, well, that's really cool, you know. And uh, I thought that was kind of fun. Well, so the very next day, I was in worship service at another church. Mm -hmm. And during worship, I saw this four-pronged shin. And it had the peacocks over the top of it, you know. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know what all this means, you know. So I just drew it, you know. <laughs> right. And my uh, friend sitting next to me, she said, well, who's that for? And I said, well, I think it's for everybody, but I don't really know for sure because I don't know what the four-prong means. And so I looked it up the next morning. And uh, come to find out, the four-pronged shin means for the future. And the mm. three-pronged one is the present. Okay. okay. And um, on the top of here, uh, where the, uh, those are like considered little flames. They're actually yods. And I didn't realize that that's actually a letter uh, also, the yod. Really? And it's on every single uh, Jewish letter. And it's, uh, and, and I, as I was looking it up, the Lord showed me this, and he said, though you are small and seemingly insignificant, you're vital to the kingdom of God. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so we are each yes. just like one of those little yods. It's a little flame. It's a little yeah. sprout. We are each a little flame yes, on the crown of Jesus. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. And it, well, it, we're, it's, it, we're important to the kingdom of well, God. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's some people going, this is very unusual. Uh, they're probably watching tonight. But you know, if, if you read the depth of just what we have in, in the translations of the Old Testament, yes. and you see what some of the prophets saw, they were very strange and unusual sights. Yes. They were, there yes. were faces and multiple you know, things happening. Wheel within the wheel. Uh, yeah. It's just, right. it, it's so much yeah. stuff that we can't wrap our minds around. Yeah. And so, but but God is so much bigger than what we make Him, isn't He? Yes, <laughs> yes, He is. All right, Eddie Anders, the Great Awakening. <laughs> Search for wonders, for miracles and signs Something to satisfy the hunger in our soul The human rage from deep within us Like a machine in pursuit 
on the horizon like a raging fire we move driven by questions in an endless search for truth there is a stirring in us the great awakening begins I believe there's a mighty power I believe there's a ladder rain I believe there's a move of God calling us all higher oh I believe these are the days of the great than our hearts can contain It's an overflow of God's amazing grace Coming to reconcile a world that's lost its way Oh, all-consuming fire Come purify us once again I believe there's a mighty power. I believe it's a ladder rain. I believe there's a move of God and it's calling us all higher. Oh, I believe these are the days, these are the days of the great awakening. Oh, yeah. There's no containing this great love of restoration. It knows no walls, no boundaries or lies. Without a doubt, I do believe it will just get down on a knee. That's a prophetic word for yes, the church. Yes, yes. We won't go out of here as a ragtag fugitive fleet. That's we right. will go out as a glorious church. Yes, All right. yes. Hallelujah. 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 Well, praise the Lord. We're, how, okay, I want to go ask ahead. Question. How important is worship when you're painting? What did you find out in Israel? That was the one thing when I, we were in Israel. We worshiped all the way across Israel. It was amazing. We were worshiping and praising the Lord at every place that we went. It was it was called a, a, a tour of worship and praise. Wow. And um, uh, uh, that when, when the Lord showed me how important, he reminded me how important it is to have worship, to begin to get onto his frequency yes. Yes. and to hear yes. his voice and to begin to recognize, you know, that's when he spoke to me 
to give me most of the, most of these is during worship. Many times there would be time the, we'd be doing worship and the Lord would give me a vision or whatever, and uh, I would draw or sketch it, and then the preacher would begin to speak, and by golly, they'd speak about the very thing that I had drawn there. Yeah. I was doing this one one time, and this guy that I had a, a cow, when he said, "Oh my gosh, you just did!" <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> I know. Yes, yes. It's very exciting. So yes, praise and worship is very important, and that's why I wanted to do this thing on the twelfth is to have have actual uh, uh, people uh, playing music and everybody singing and worshiping yes. and then stepping into doing some uh, drawing and, and then painting as well. How important that people, people don't realize no. how necessary our worship is oh, yeah. because yes. it removes us from ourselves yeah. and takes us all the way to, to catch a glimpse of who he is. Yes. Uh, we, there's no idol worship when you're in worship. Because you forget right. about your stuff, yeah, that's and, right. you, and that's your right. mind is stayed on Him. That's yeah. a powerful thing. Hallelujah! And you know those old transistor radios, back a hundred years ago, you'd be trying to get the station in, and you yeah. get it static. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the church has been in static. Oh my, for that's, a long good. Time. Yeah. that's good. That's good. That's good. We need to fine tune. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, on his frequency. Absolutely, yes. we need to we need to come out yes. from the rabbit ear. You know, yes. remember the rabbit ears? Yes. You put With aluminum, aluminum foil, foil on, oh, yeah. on them old rabbit ears and make that old TV come in. Then you I had do to. Remember. This is a digital age. You need That's to get right. on in where That's the glory right. is. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. The power right. of the Lord and it's is. so important to get on that frequency with Him every day. When you yeah. get up in the morning, yes. say, Lord, you know, I connect with you. You know, yes. I want to hear your voice today. Help me to say what you want me to say. Do what you want me yeah. to do. And be ready. So when God has something for me to say to somebody or to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to be ready to walk into that. And I'm not going to miss it. Yes. You know, for nobody, no matter what it is, it's not just to draw, but to speak life into somebody's life, into yes. their hearts, you know. This, yes. this would be, there'd be so many excellent advantages, I think. Women's conferences, wow. Oh, yeah. You know, that would be yes. to, to incorporate this element into, you know, to do so many things yeah. now. So you're in, available. In yes. I would love to do a women's conference. Wouldn't that be yeah. awesome? I've done uh, some things like that, you know, mm -hmm. where I go in and speak and then have them paint and whatever. Mm -hmm. That's a fun thing to do. Mm. Yeah, we can do that. Breaking chains, breaking Amen. yokes, destroying the works Amen. of demon powers, yes. and elevating and building the kingdom. Yes, that's, right. that's what this thing is about. Absolutely. What What are your dreams for the future? Uh, well, I want to teach people how to connect with God. You yeah. know, that's my quest: is to have uh, classes to where people learn to do prophetic art. It's not just that I'm doing it and saying, "Oh, I'm great." You know, I want everybody to be able to learn to begin to do this themselves. There's, I'm sure there's a lot of people that have never heard of prophetic art, which is hard to believe because I've been doing this for like since 2006. But yet there's still a lot of people They said, well, in fact, when I was at the hotel today, she said, well, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, yeah, well, you know, people don't know that, hey, this is there for them. They can learn to, to uh, do this same thing themselves. Tell and, us about this picture Yes, here. the one here about the yes. gate. That's mm -hmm. exactly what this one is about. It says, uh, new gates of opportunity to discover hidden gifts and talents are going to be in this coming year, 2018, 5778. Yes. New yes. beginnings. New beginnings. Like ministry. You know, <laughs> yes. we, we spend so much time, some time dealing with facts. We, you know, we, we, we want to make sure that we don't get in any place where we're not being completely honest. And so, so what we do a lot of times is we're, so we look at a family member who's bound by a habit or maybe a sickness or disease, and we, we focus on that. Why not take something like this and break those chains? Amen. Go ahead and, and, and reconfigure that individual who may be bound Amen. by an alcohol habit or whatever, drug mm -hmm. addiction, but but portray them in the light of the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and let that be your focus of your faith. Yeah. Lord, that they can begin yeah. to yes. hear God's voice and, and do something to hear from them, uh, hear from God themselves. Yeah. You know, and get out of that make track. A, make a That's faith true. declaration. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. And I love this one down here. With the, with the, uh, with yeah, the, the eagle, eagle and the dove. Yes. And that was, um, um, the Lord was saying that the apostles and prophets are going to be coming together. You know, there's been kind of, sometimes the apostles think, well, no, you know, we don't have time for the prophets. And prophets say, wait a minute, you know, um, no, the, the, the apostles are, are are too much in charge, you know. <laughs> yes. There's been kind of a battle, but it's like there's a coming together of the apostles and the prophets yes. to where they're going to be able to do what God wants them to do, united and um, 
flow in the spirit together. Yes, just like his song, The Great Awakening. Oh. Amen. Yes. Wow, that's powerful. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. now you've, you've just launched a new website. Well, it was T last year. Last year, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, tell us about Glory it. Arts, gloryarts.com. And um, um, I haven't really done that much with it as much as I should have. I was supposed to be doing a, a blog every a week, uh, every month. and. So I'm hoping that's my quest this year. Go. <laughs> I'm going to do that <laughs> to be able to get people yes. in, uh, keep in touch with them, what's going yes. on. It's just hard. I teach classes at Michael's and uh, uh, and I teach classes at Father's House and sometimes wow. it's a little busy. But yes. Yes. I'm going to do more focus on glory arts yes. and and doing the blogs and teaching people about how to do the prophetic art. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Gloryarts.com. Yeah. Glory so people can get into your website and get yes. some information and yes. and and get some uh, enthusiasm yes. to yes. do these kinds of things. Yes. This yes. is this is excellent. Cuz even you. if it's a short blog. Yes. I, I, yes. It's just just the encouragement short. like you said just yes. a little bit of encouragement. Yeah. I have to um, write a book. Yes. Uh, that's why I think I've got to write a book every time. Yes. <laughs> yes. I write too much. I say too much. Sometimes. No, you probably don't, but you would you know the time Yes. You could just oh my gosh! Give yes, them nuggets. Exactly. Yes, those yes. nuggets are worth. Um, yes, money's not a, uh, an idea in their head when when you get a nugget and it just hits your heart. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How do you find this much time to do this much art? I mean, <laughs> you've got all of these these <laughs> renderings are here, and it's amazing. Uh, the sketches don't take very long. Yeah. When you do a sketch, I mean, you can do it in a few minutes. When we have the prophetic... <laughs> Maybe for you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't draw stick people, so... I, <laughs> hey, it's prophetic art. If it's from you and from your heart, and it's from your dream and vision, it's okay. The kids, uh, they Calling say, Mama... those things that be not as though they <laughs> were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I need to do. Because I can't, I honestly cannot draw a stick person. Oh, it looks goodness. like a crippled stick. I don't know what. <laughs> the kids would say, draw a dog and I'd try and they'd say, oh, we'll just wait till daddy gets home. <laughs> so, I'm... It would, okay. it would be a miracle. Well, God still does miracles. He does. He, yes. does. he yes. does. He does. Well, and you don't want to shy away from prophetic art just because you think you can't draw because God's still speaking to you. Yes. It's helping everybody begin yes. to learn how to hear his voice and recognize his voice. You know, yes. when you begin to, well, you don't want to hang up on God. No. You yes. know, when you're having no. a dream or a vision, you think, okay, man, that, I think, you know, you can kind of tell when something's from God. Yes. So you make notes yes. about it. And then you say, okay, I recognize this is you, God speaking. And then he will, some, it's a progressive thing. It'll build. And as time goes on, he'll show you more. He'll remind you of a dream or a vision. Yes. You know. I know there are people who would absolutely love to be able to take what they have seen in their dreams and put it all yeah. the way. Yeah. Wow. That, that would take yes. some powerful talent. And, and, uh, but God has that capability. It yes. might, you know. You, you notice how he works. It's, it's a caterpillar and then it's a butterfly. Yeah. So it's a process. Yeah. Yes. So you, it may not be that it's that great to begin with, but it develops, does it yeah. not? Yeah. The more you do it, the better you get. Just like with, with anything, the more you yeah. um, uh, begin to do it, you get better. And, and in you your learn. book, you do teaching sessions through the book. Yes. And you yeah. ta also talk about it, the yeah. paintings, but, but you actually give instruction in the book. Yes, yes. Wait, how, it's, there's 21 secret decoding devices, 21 different ways that God speaks to us through our art. And you can go through those and see those. And there's a, examples at the end with some little things for you to do. I was going to say, I need examples. <laughs> <laughs> I need 300. more pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Lots 300. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I might can draw something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we, we, you know, we miss a lot of things that God is saying because we're, Oh, I can't do that, or exactly. oh, I'm not, I don't have a degree oh. in that, or I, you know, exactly. Yeah, we, we, you we don't close want to that do door. That. You don't close the door. You yeah, say, okay, yeah. Lord, I'm open to whatever you have to show yes. me. Okay, yeah. so, so this, this is the time, and the year is, is about to be fresh. Yes. yes. This is the time to to give God new opportunities in us. Yes. yes. And to yes. And stretch out and do some things yes. that yes. are extraordinary. Out of the ordinary, yes. out of that little blase little thing that we do yes. sometimes. Yes. Expect yeah. to hear from God. Expect, Expect Him yes. to show you your talents and gifts yes. and how creative, you know, He's made you. That, that's yes. a powerful word. Yes, yes it is. Yes. I, I love it. Um, you know, I, I remember I had a, a brother-in-law many years ago when he was born again. Uh, 
he was he was just a boat mechanic. He worked on small engines. But when he was born again, a talent was birthed in him. Huh. He, he almost instantly he was able to play all yes. kinds of instruments. Oh my goodness! I don't think he knew that he had that capability. No, he anymore. never wow. could play before. So he built Hammond organs. He became an organist. Oh. It was amazing. A drummer. He could play guitar. Wow. The first time he sat down all to a Hammond organ. Things. See, there, there's just, creative power in yes, us. Yes. We just gotta yes. let God call yes. it out. Don't yes, it? absolutely. And also. Uh, art lovers, lovers, uh, with this one here is so gorgeous. Thank you. And you, you could, they could buy. Yes. Uh, pictures that they love from yeah. you. Yeah. Not the originals. No. But no, we can get the, prints no. made. Prints there you made. Go. But they Absolutely. can stick it in with my originals. You oh, should and this be. Is, this is yeah. beautiful. This Christmas. Yes. Uh, yeah. This is such a story here. Yeah. What a yes, wonderful is, uh, reminder. One family, one journey, one child who would change the world forever. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Fun? yes. My, actually, awesome. one of my students um, just this last week brought this idea to me. And I said, oh, my goodness, yes, we got to do this one. Yes. And I'm not really supposed to do Christian art at... Michael's, but we did that day. See, yes. but it was okay. You know, if she, if they're willing and they're interested yeah. in doing it, it's okay. Yes. Well, and it, you know, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, <laughs> and that tis the season, and so he's the reason for the season. So yes, they can hook is. up on your site and find yes. out what yes. something like this would would cost for them to be able. Well, we to, can negotiate. For there we go. I that haven't got awesome. that part of my website put together yet. The story. <laughs> I mean, that's a whole new, a whole oh, new yeah. world, isn't world it? you know, putting okay. together prices and right. getting things, you know, yes. All right. photographed. Well, blessings on you, Thank and we, you. we have just enjoyed yes. talking to you. This is awesome, and and this has been anointed, and this Thank is this you. is good, this is good information for us. And, and I want to tell you, hook up with this lady. She would love mm -hmm. to come to your conference. Yes. She'd love to come and minister to you and, and show you the beautiful things that God uh, bursts out of art. It's awesome. Don't forget, the, the book is Enigma, too. All right, we don't want you to go anywhere. We're still enjoying the presence of the Lord. And uh, this is a great and an awesome night. Call in. Give us your request. <laughs>